As COVID restrictions continue to loosen, the work goes on to protect our youngest children. Moderna, in fact, is in the middle of a vaccine trial for all kids four and younger. And researchers at the University of Colorado Anschutz Center are playing a major role. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt was the only reporter invited in to see their work. We got a look inside the vaccine trial happening right now for children under the age of five. Families that we spoke to say the decision to enroll in this process was an easy one to make. So she got the shot right here. Lily, Arlo, Georgia, and Wyatt are some of the youngest participants in Moderna's COVID vaccine trial. She was one of the ones that um, the smallest little, little, little that was able to join. Each one has had their first and second shot. Whether or not it was the vaccine, they won't know for some time. You seem perfectly happy, yeah? <laughs> Woo. You say, oh, I'm still strong. They were enrolled at different times and now are at different stages of the study. Good job, sweetie. But researchers will follow the health of each child for more than a year. What temperature does she need? While some may feel like COVID is coming to an end, Jane Ott says for those with family left unprotected, it's far from over. I feel like they're kind of the forgotten group where people are thinking, oh, the, you know, a lot of adults are vaccinated. If they do get COVID, it's really mild. And I keep saying, well, what about the children that are not vaccinated? Having an opportunity to change that, Nicole Poole says she jumped at the chance to volunteer. Being able to get into the study in the first place was at least something I felt like I could do um, in a state of feeling like we can't do much. That protection, their top priority, but Crystal Atwood says she couldn't help but think of others. There's a lot of kiddos that we don't think about that have cancer, have um, autoimmune deficiencies, and if you're getting your kiddo vaccinated, especially when the masks are coming off in the schools, you're helping to protect those kids. It's also a chance to change how these families will look back on the pandemic and their role in it. Just the opportunity to contribute to science is something it, to this scale, especially is something I never thought we would be part of. Right now, there is no timeline for FDA approval for this age group. In Aurora, Kira Morfitt covering Colorado First.